As Olympic swimmer Adam Peaty, Ellie Simmons and Matt Richards join forces with Speedo Swim United, they are launching an ambitious new program to help tackle the low swimming attainment levels across the UK, the Papa Pool Program. These temporary swimming pools will be placed in schools located in areas that have seen the highest levels of inability to swim among children aged from 5 to 11 years old. This figure has been compiled by Sport England and according to them, if the current situation carries on, by 2025, 60% of children leaving primary school will not know how to swim. Not only is the UK facing a problem with energy costs putting added pressures on traditional swimming pools, which has resulted in reduced school swimming lessons, but the UK also witnessed a decrease in pool numbers since 2010, with just over 400 being lost. It's been highlighted that areas with the highest levels of health-related deprivation have been affected the most. At the pop-up pool program launch event, Olympic medalist Matt Richards highlighted the importance of making sure that disadvantages children aren't left behind. I know for a fact I wouldn't be where I am now if I hadn't discovered my love of swimming at a young age. It is so sad to see leisure centers and pools having to close down, and incredible facilities like Sandwell not being open for so long. It's tough to see. Qualified lifeguards and swimming teachers will be on hand to help school-aged children develop their swimming skills at eight schools through the distribution of these temporary pools placed in marquees and school grounds, their goal being to make sure each child can swim at least 25 meters by the end of the four-month period. Famous athletes are now taking the stance that without measures being taken to increase access to swimming pools, the next generation of Olympic medal-winning swimmers will be lost. Great Britain and Jamaica swimmer Michael Gunning stated, in the sessions today, we saw the fear in some of their eyes and for some of them, their parents probably have that fear too. So I think it's important that we can bring the pool to them, so they can have that exposure and leave at the end wanting to swim again. The pop-up pool program will also be helping to address barriers to swimming while encouraging individual communities to make strides that go beyond the project reach. Speedo Swim United hopes to break the cycle and make sure more children have the chance to learn how to swim now, and for years to come.